Bible advises against the consumption of pork? I believe that the Bible advises us not to eat or consume pork. For one, spiritually, the nature, what you consume, breaks down and recreates uh, what you would call your deoxyribose nucleic acid structure. What we eat bonds to our DNA. If you look at the actual characteristics of a pig, it's greedy. This one here has turned belly up. Oh, shit, the bed on my home. Come here, girl. It's sloppy. It's dirty. It will eat another pig. It eats anything. It has no moral. The only purpose and point of a pig is to be a trash can of earth. It consumes the trash of earth. That's the whole point of it. And then you will go and you will eat that trash. So just, and then think about the name we call a pig. You call police officers that sit on a corner and try to round up black people and put them in jail all day, a pig. So when you look at the word pig and just the spirituality and the characteristics or the attributes that's associated around the pig, it's gluttony. Not only is it gluttony, it's messiness. Not only is it messiness, it's sloppiness. We actually call the food that you feed a pig, what? Slop. So everything about the pig spiritually shows a bunch of natural law-breaking sins that humans are not supposed to imitate. Then when you look at the physical aspects, if you look at a pig or you look at the swine, swines and pigs don't have sweat glands. So whatever toxemia that they eat, it stays metabolically within their system. And that's why they're so cancerous causing. And the, the high amount of sodium that's in a bloodstream is just crazy. Have you ever heard of something called salt toxicity? Pigs and salt don't go together well. The reason is because a pig's body does not regulate salt, sodium well. Too much salt causes huge problems. So it raises blood sodium, it raises blood sugar, it's all types of toxemia inside of them because they don't have sweat glands and they're the natural biological trash cans of the earth, meaning they will eat any and everything and every attribute and spiritual attribute that's a part of them or law breaking sins that God told us to stay away from when it comes to the actual body. And they're full of parasites, full of parasites, tapeworms, fluke worms, hookworms. And when you look at a pig, pigs give something called zoonotic diseases. What zoonotic diseases is, is when an actual animal can pass a disease over to a human being. It's called zoonotic diseases. Swine flu. You have something called toxioplasmosis or toxioplasma. Toxioplasma is an actual brain-eating parasite that you can get from eating actual pig's flesh. And it's a transluted parasite. You can't even see it until it metamorphosizes or what they call pleomorphosizes itself in the brain. A worm was removed from a woman's brain. And guess what this thing does? It binds to different morphine receptors or opiate receptors of the brain and it can actually change your personality. It can change the foods you like and it can change your sexual preference. Look this stuff up, toxioplasma. And you can get this same thing from cats too because it bonds to different types of markers in your brain and it biohacks your nervous system and it thinks for you. So things that you didn't like to eat that you knew was bad for them, now you crave them because you're not feeding yourself no more. You're feeding these actual parasites. So just the whole entire consumption of a pig is bad. There is nothing good about eating pork at all. Spiritually, mentally, physically, or emotionally. It gives you a bunch of parasites. It gives you hypertension, high blood pressure. It gives you hyperglycemia. It shuts down your kidneys and your adrenals. It releases a bunch of cortisol in your body. And then you're going to activate what they call the immune system to try to get these foreign invaders out of the body at that, which is going to cause cold, flu-like symptoms. And these things is what's going to bring on the toxicity, which makes the body try to heal itself. It's going to take all those toxins from them from that pork, put it in a trash bag for these toxins won't leak into the bloodstream, then it's gonna mutate. That mutation is what you call cancer. So when you look at eating pork or eating swine's flesh, it actually causes cancer and many other metabolic so-called diseases.